Hello there, we are back with another video to discuss about how to work around your own configurations for the CloudSim simulation. This demo will be based on CloudSim 3.0.3 release and will elaborate on the steps that are similar to examples available in CloudSim but will be built from the scratch. We will be simulating following configuration for this video. One data center will be created and the data center will host four, uh, four different uh, you know, hosts and each host will have quad core processor that that means four cores will be available and uh, each core will has a capability of 1000 mips 8 gb ram will be there for each host 100 gb storage will be there as cloud sim talks in terms of mb so we have one lakh mb for that we also consider one mbps network bandwidth now the cloud sim talks in terms of kilobits per second so we are going to take 8000 kilobits per second for that after that, we are going we are going to create one data center broker who is responsible for creating virtual machines and cloudlets. Now, the configuration for cloudlets will be we are going to talk about forty cloudlets here, with each cloud having forty thousand length of instructions, three hundred KB input file size will be there, four hundred KB output file size will be there. Each cloudlet will be uh, executing on one CPU core, and the utilization model which we are going to use is full. Now, to serve all these forty cloudlets, we are going to create 10 virtual machine the configurations of each virtual machine are as follows 20 gb storage disk 2 gb ram 1 vcpu with the capacity of 1000 mips speed uh, the network bandwidth will be 1000 kilobits per second and the scheduling which we are going to use for uh, cloudlets execution will be time shared now every example in cloud sim follows certain steps right and we are also uh, also going to follow the same track so these are some of the steps which we are going to follow there are seven basic steps which we generally uh, take care of so very first thing we start with the initialization of the cloud sim package and it should be called before creating any of the entities it's very very important because once you initialize the sim 